AMD just can't catch up to NVIDIA. Asus is finally acknowledging their warranty and NVIDIA is making cell phones. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Oz host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your OzFest on this Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Can we just give it up for Ozzy? Oh my gosh. For coming gosh. in and doing the intro to hot news. Brett, I don't know how you do it. This is so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna start off today talking about no matter how hard AMD tries, they still cannot catch up to NVIDIA because despite the best efforts of extreme overclockers everywhere, the 7900 XTX still can't outperform or even match an RTX 4090. So after a hardware mod and supreme overclocking by Jedi 95, they found that the tough Radeon 7900 XTX, even when it was overclocked to 3467 megahertz and pulled a total of 700 watts from the wall, it still couldn't even match an RTX 4090 in time spy, despite the fact that the 40 90 only needs to take 400 to 500 watts of power. And the reason I really want to talk about this is the fact that a lot of people ragged on NVIDIA with the 4090 consuming so much juice. But if you take a look at the architecture, it's kind of efficient compared to what AMD is delivering once you push it to the brink. And this might be one of the reasons why we never saw them even try to compete with NVIDIA with the 4090. They knew that they would have to really, really get a lot of juice flowing through that bad boy. And if, in case you don't remember the marketing strategy, strategy that AMD took, they mocked NVIDIA for how much power draw the cards had to take. Do you remember that? I do in fact remember that, yes. Yeah, AMD, yeah. AMD's Looks done some marketing where they, rough. yeah. <laughs> it's not a good call. Yeah. Good job, AMD. We're proud of you, keep it up. But it does show that extreme overclockers can, uh, can do a lot if you give them the tools to do that. And you know what I can do? a whole lot with today's video sponsor. Today's episode of Breakfast is sponsored by Soylent. I've been enjoying Soylent since before they even approached us for a sponsorship just because of how convenient and complete they are for my diet and my life. I'm a man who loves simple solutions to my daily needs since I have a ton of big responsibilities that I'm constantly dealing with as part of my business and my personal life. Soylent offers me a single meal in a bottle. No prep, no mess, no cleanup, and not even refrigeration in case I forgot to put the case in my fridge when it gets delivered. It also gives me the nutrition I with 28 vitamins and minerals, 20 grams of protein, and only one singular gram of sugar. And it's also delicious. It's smooth, creamy, has eight flavors to choose from, with vanilla being my favorite, but Cafe Mocha is a close second. And it was actually voted the best meal replacement in a survey of over 40,000 consumers by Kantar Research. And the big thing for me is that it's made of US grown sustainable soy and not dairy, which I've recently had to completely eliminate from my diet entirely. I was looking for a convenient, affordable, all-in-one protein drink that wasn't dairy-based and Soylent popped up as the top result for me. And now we're here with the sponsorship and my wife's even been stealing the Soylent from me. So I'm gonna need to double my next order. And conveniently for you, the first 500 people to use the link in the description and code UFDTech30 will get 30% off their first order with Soylent. Check out Soylent, enjoy the convenience, the affordability, the deliciousness, and the nutrition. Big thanks again to Soylent for sponsoring today's video. And while I've been sipping on Soylent, Asus has been sipping on the rage of gamers everywhere, specifically thanks to the fact that they maybe have been treating their customers poorly when it came to the X3D chips that were exploding on their motherboards. There's Gamers Nexus Deep Dive, which showed off how even when you implemented a beta BIOS from Asus, they were still overvolting the SOCs, and it made it so that they disclosed that you weren't covered under warranty in case your chip did explode, even from the beta BIOS. However, that was the only one that was officially supported to run the X3D chips because the other other ones, we're gonna explode your CPU. So after all of that outcry and controversy, Asus has finally publicly at least addressed the fact that your warranty is still gonna be okay, even if you update to the beta BIOS, with them saying, we wanna address the concerns that have been raised by our users about whether recent BIOS updates will impact the warranty of Asus AM5 motherboards. We'd like to reassure our customers that both beta and fully validated BIOS updates for Asus AM5 motherboards are covered by the original manufacturer's warranty. We would also like to confirm the following points. The Asus AM5 motherboard warranty also covers all AMD Expo, Intel XMP, and DOCP memory configurations, and all recent BIOS updates follow the latest AMD voltage guidelines for AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors. So, at least publicly, they are finally addressing it after about a week of uncertainty and people having difficulties. Ozzy, did you have an X3D chip blow up? I did not. Have you had an X3D chip yet? I can't afford one. Oh. <laughs> so no. Oh man. Well, you know what might help you to afford one? UFD deals. 
I bet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, welcome back to EFT Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals on the internet. How are you guys doing? I'm, I'm cold. I'm really cold. But we have deals to get through, so I'm going to do that real quick, and then I can get all blanketed up. Because first up, we have the EVGA Z20 Wired RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard with Opta Mechanical Switches, if that's your thing. You can currently pick this up for only $59.99, making it $115 off. I'm kind of getting a little clearance, but not clearance vibes. Is this me, or do you guys also kind of worry about EVGA at the moment? I see a lot of their products on deep discounts. But speaking of deep discounts, we have the ASRock Radeon RX 6800 XT Phantom gaming. This 16 gigabyte RDNA 2 graphics card is currently going for $499.99, making it the lowest price in 30 days and cheaper than an XFX graphics card on sale by $30. Then you know it's cheap. And that's it. Those are the deals for today. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm going to hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Thanks, Reese. But Apple wants to give you a deal of giving you back your voice for free in a latest set of accessibility features that they're rolling out to the iPhone. They say that with 15 minutes of training, they can actually synthesize a voice that sounds exactly like the voice that you present to them. And I've seen a lot of reactions with regards to this live speech implementation, talking about how this is dystopian and the way of the future. But I do want to say, as somebody who has a nonverbal son, this actually gets me really excited since he uses an iPad as his communication device, one of the things that immediately pops into my mind is that I would be able to use my older son's voices to actually be the voice that he uses on his talking iPad. And then we could also record my voice, have that synthesized so that when he becomes an adult, it's my voice, but it, it could be his. And we, I would presume that we sound somewhat similar to each other. So I'm actually really excited for this, for the accessibility function of it. And despite the fact that Apple would now have your voice, they are only processing it locally. And this opens up a lot of opportunities for people who have degenerative diseases that might take their voice away. They can still preserve it on any sort of accessibility function that they might have in a different app. And I appreciate this. Apple has actually been making a lot of strides in this and iPads tend to be a very easily accessible region when it comes to giving people voices with different apps that are out there. And so I appreciate it. I like it. Thank you, Apple even if it is a little weird. What's also a little weird, but less serious is Logitech and their G Cloud Gaming handheld. This is a Steam Deck like device that can only play video games via the cloud and not locally, which is the exact opposite of what Apple's doing with the live voice thing. This is a double segue, but they decided that it's done so well in the US. They are now rolling it out to Europe and the UK for roughly the same price at $350, 360 euro or 330 pounds. So the European launch will also get you six months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, one month of GeForce Now and one month of Shadow PC if you buy it be for June 22nd, but I just, I have to ask, who is buying this thing? Have you seen anybody with this? Nope. It doesn't make any, who wants a cloud only gaming handheld? I'll just get a Steam Deck. Why wouldn't you just get a Steam Deck? You're slightly out of frame. That is better. I mean, especially when you can just use your phone, which it looks like you might be able to get RTX enabled on your phone because reports are coming out behind the scenes that MediaTek and Nvidia likely will be partnering up to bring next generation flagship mobile Nvidia GPUs to MediaTek phones in 2024. This raises a whole lot of questions. Number one, is this Nvidia responding to the fact that Samsung and AMD have partnered up for low power devices? Number two, is this potentially a plan that NVIDIA had in place before their acquisition of ARM got all discombobulated and they don't have that anymore? Was NVIDIA planning on getting into the phone sector and competing with every company that uses ARMs for their phone like Qualcomm or Apple? Is this just the fruits of NVIDIA trying to overtake an industry and the fact that they don't actually own ARM is the reason that they couldn't go forward with it? And now we're sitting here with NVIDIA just entering into the space instead of holding the reins of everybody else who they'd be competing against with this move. There's no word on how fast this will be, what phones it's gonna make it into. Not many people use a phone with a MediaTek processor, at least here in the United States. It might be more prevalent elsewhere, but this is an intriguing move. Ozzy, do you want RTX on on your phone? RTX subway surfers. Oh, Kyler! Huh? RTX subway surfer! Ooh, babe. You guys ponder on that while we let you uh, stew for your next breakfast tomorrow. I'll be back with more of the hottest tech news tomorrow. Ozzy will be too. He's not leaving. Yeah, he has me chained down here. Oh boy. All right. We'll see you back here tomorrow.